In the 1950s, Swedish photographer Christer Stromholm settled in Place Blanche in the heart of Paris's red light district. Over a decade, he chronicled the life of transsexual ladies of the night. The result was the book-length photographic essay Les Amis de Place Blanche, published in 1983, which quickly became a cult classic. On the occasion of the release of the enhanced edition, the International Center of Photography organized the first exhibit of Stromholm's work in an American museum. Canapé talks with ICP curatorial assistant Pauline Vermeer. Christer Stromholm was a Swedish photographer. He was first a painter and he turned to photography in the late 40s. And 10 years later, he decides to settle uh, down in the red light district in Paris, Pigalle, Place Blanche. He takes photos of the fanfare and, you know, the snake charmers and the freak shows. And in this surreal scene, in this crazy context, he meets and befriends a community of young transsexuals who are uh, prostituting themselves to make money for a sex change operation. For 10 years, on and off, he would visit them, live with them in the hotel, spend days and nights with them, mostly nights, which, you know, they were working nights. They are astonishingly feminine. And I think what's very troubling, in a way, in this subject is how these women who were born men, physically, and psychology women, how they became the quintessence of a woman. In most of his pictures, the eyes, the gaze, the stares, the glances are everywhere, especially in this one print of this little boy looking at one of the scenes in the fanfare with admiration and looking at, you know, adult life and sexuality in a way that he, sh he shouldn't be there, but somehow he's enjoying it. Stroman was never a voyeur with the girls. He never, ever observed them with the distance. He was in their world, and as Nana said of him, he was part of us. He was a misfit, just like us. This story was made end of the 50s and uh, up to end of the 1960s, which was De Gaulle, Charles De Gaulle's uh, era, and his wife, uh, Tante Yvonne, a very Roman Catholic, very strict environment, social environment, which was absolutely uh, nightmarish for the girls because they were prostitutes, they were transsexuals, they were everything the society hated. And so they were arrested by the police all the time. The official reason was men dressed as women outside period of carnivals. You know, they were a bit of a stain in, in a society that wanted order and uh, homogeneity. The reason why they were prostitutes is they couldn't do anything else to make money because their ID cards didn't correspond to their physical appearance. And so, and they were most of them from very poor background, social background, so they didn't really have an option. Some of them decided to transcend the gloom of their lives. But I think in some other pictures, you can really see that it was a real social drama. Stromholm, before he met the girls, never took portraits of human beings. It was all about dolls and animals and weird scenes in the streets. And suddenly he, meet, he meets these women and it's like they brought him something and he brought them something. It was a perfect exchange. And since then, since this beautiful photo album, he started taking portraits. So it was really a turning point in his life as a photographer. And as a man, I would say, you know, it was a very important story.